Welcome back to The Shed. I've covered Harry Harrison in the past on this channel, but what I would like to do today is take a look at the first of a series of novels that he wrote featuring his main protagonist, James Bolivar de Grizz, or Slippery Jim, in The Stainless Steel Rat. So I've got a few in my collection at the moment, um, no particular order. But the only short novels, almost, I think they're about 200 odd pages each. Oh, they're 150 odd pages each. So what I would like to do is provide a bit of a plot overview, talk to what I liked, what I didn't like, I'll make some recommendations and we'll call this one done. So James Bolivar de Grease is your self-proclaimed con man. He lives in this far future earth where all these criminal traits are detected early and eradicated from the gene pool. So this makes James or Slippery James or Stainless Steel Rat a rather very interesting character for the times. And he's just pulled off this uh, big bank hoist, at least he thinks he has, because he's done a lot of planning and um, he also doesn't like violence, so he's a, he's a rather ethical criminal in that sense. He seems to be a, a future Earth Robin Hood. So he thinks he's pulled off this big hoist only to be targeted by the special core unit, the special police force. And they're sort of on his tail and I've actually caught up with him. And they're going to make him an offer he can't refuse. You see, the special core itself is made up of ex-criminals, primarily of ex-criminals who have got these extraordinary skills that are just not found in this gene pool. And that and the special core is actually led by the world's biggest crook, the biggest, the galaxy's biggest crook, I think it was known as, or the biggest con man. So they approach him and saying, hey, Slippery Jim, um, we've got you, right? We've got you and you've got a choice to make. You can just spend your life in jail or go through some treatment and, you know, basically no longer be yourself. Or you can join our special unit um, as we combat crime in the, in the galaxy. So James, uh, James is a bit sort of taken by that, thinking, well, this may just be the challenge I'm actually after. And his first assignment, he stumbles up upon this group um, that seems to be building this battleship. It's an illegal battleship. And we find that James gets on the trail and tries to find out exactly who's building this and for what purpose. So he soon discovers that the mastermind behind this battleship plans is none other than this beautiful woman who seems to also have a murderous tendency, which sort of conflicts with James's own uh, worldviews. He sort of thinks, I've had enough with the call, and decides to pursue this matter on his own and chases this Angelina down. The novel then goes through some action scenes and the question really asked, what is behind this beautiful Angelina and what drives the murderous tendencies? Would the stainless steel rat be able to turn her in and return to the core or is there another alternative solution to this conflict? Look, what a wonderful little novel this, this one is. It's just, um, what is it? It's uh, just 158 pages and most of the books in this series seem to be that. And so what is it that I liked in particular? Look, I think the page count is one of the things that really appealed to me in this particular novel. Sometimes, you know, especially after having finished a large book, a big, you know, 1,000 page book, I sometimes feel like I just want to get a couple of books under my stash. And this is, I find Harrison novels are great for that because they typically are under 200 pages and something that you can pick up and get that pulp fiction hit and that's one of the things I really like about Harry Harrison it did really write in that pulp fiction format that I, I, I grew up with loving uh, as I grew up as a child and I really enjoyed that in Harry Harrison's writing here and the stainless steel rat is no exception to that being your typical pulp fiction type of a novel this has got your you know straight jawed masculine male hero your heroine in this case being the antagonist which was rather a, a, an interesting spin from harry harrison but she had all the typical traits you saw in those pulp fiction novels of the time i enjoy that from time to time i know it can be a bit of a hit and miss for some people but you know if you're coming in knowing that you're going to get some pulp fiction your straight jawed you know heroes and heroines then i think you won't be disappointed in harry harrison novel here I also enjoyed the chase in this particular novel, right? So it's your type of a spy thriller crime novel uh, in this sci-fi sort of setting. And I did enjoy that as well. So what was it that I didn't like? 
Look, I think for me, the thing that I didn't like the most in this particular novel is just that it hasn't aged well. You know, I mean, the portrayal of women in this one is, is rather odd. And what I also didn't find... I find rather strange is that you know it's how quickly slippery jim proclaimed love for this person he'd never met right and it's that typical sort of 1940s 50s sort of feel where you know it's love at first sight and infatuation and, and you know this is a person for me it, it's that sort of novel which i thought was a bit dated but i'd say that the worst thing about it was the portrayal of women now i don't want to make a big deal of it i think harry harrison is definitely he was above his leagues. At least he's got the main antagonist in this novel being a woman, which was just never done in the times, right? Um, but, you know, it was like she was beautiful and she was smart and and it was almost impossible that a beautiful woman could also be smart, right? It was sort of that kind of message which I found really bizarre. It's like, you know, any ugly women with deformities can be smart, right? So it, it definitely has that. So if that offends you, I'd say steer away from this one. But look, I read it for what it is, which is a bit of pop fiction and, and something that has aged a little. And look, did it deter from my enjoyment? I would say just a, a tad. I mean, there, there were areas that I just... I just didn't really enjoy but overall the, I've read the whole series in the past and it's a great like I said this I think it's just a great escape to get some quick light easy reading that is fun that is fast-paced that does leave you with a smile on your face at the end of the day so who would I recommend the stainless steel rat to having said all of that look I think if you've if you've taken on my recommendations in the past and you've read Harry Harrison, novels that come to mind are his Death World series. We've covered two of the three on this channel. I've got to get to the third at some point in time. Maybe I should have done it before I got onto the stainless steel rat. But I say if you're a Harry Harrison fan and you enjoy Death World, I think you find that the main protagonist here and what we found in, uh, what was his name? I uh, can't remember the guy's name. Jason Denault, that's right. Um, the main character, Jason Denault in Death World, you find there's a lot of similarities with the Stainless Steel Rat and Jason Denault. Very similar kind of characters. So I think if you like the Death World series and you've yet to read the Stainless Steel Rat, I say have a go at it. I think you will enjoy it. Now, one thing I'll note as well that this is the first publication order, but it's not the first in the chronological order. Um, so you may want to check that out as well if you want to read them in turn chrono chronological order. I haven't done so in the past and nor did I feel it took away from my enjoyment. The other obvious recommendation is your pulp fiction fans, right? Pulp science fiction fans. I think this is just exactly in that vein, right? Yeah, like I said, you got your heroes and heroines and you got your rocket ships and you got this far future distance Earth. Um, and one of the things I really enjoyed, actually, I should have talked to it in my like section. I really like it when science fiction novels of the 60s and 70s get the far future extraordinarily wrong. Um, and that happens to be the case in this novel a couple of times when it comes to the actual technology uh, which I found really fun and refreshing I always love that you know that we're talking you know thousands of years into the future at times and we're still using you know um, valve tube t uh, computers and things like that right and that comes up from time to time in this one that I really enjoyed as well so I really enjoyed my little break from the big novels and get stuck into what is almost a novella in the stainless steel rat. And I hope you take on my recommendations. I think you'll find that having considered everything I've said, a rather enjoyable read. I, I do like my Harry Harrison novels and this is no exception. So when it comes to ratings, I gave this one a three and a half to four out of five. Now, I think it's a very enjoyable read, a very quick read, which sometimes I really enjoy that, just getting couple of quick novels out of the way and eat up the stack behind me my tbr so you know have a go at it i think you know if you consider everything i said and there's nothing in there that i've said that really turns you off this novel i think there is definitely enough in here to make it uh, a, a classic and it really is a classic of the genre hey i've been peter this has been the shed and i'll see you next time in the sci-fi shed what's up next Oh, I've got some really interesting novels that I'm actually reading through at the moment. So I hope you hit that subscribe and notification bell and I'll see you next time in the shed.